my check one two one two it's the y2k collector here trying to help you get ready for the holiday promotions that gamestop will more than likely have hopefully you're able to take advantage of them um because we know that they don't really do the the deals at the same rate that they used to do them so i'm hoping that they offer a buy two get one promotion during this black friday uh holiday and um, usually the buy to get one on all used is the best time to buy retro games. We know it's getting very hard to find retro games on the cheap. Um, they are going up everywhere. Goodwill is no longer an option. Your thrift stores, thrift stores are no longer an option. And um, with the winter months upon us, um, for those of us who live in on the East Coast or areas where it does get cold, yard sales and um, flea markets are no longer an option. So... If you're on the West Coast, if you're in Florida, if you're somewhere where the weather allows for, you know, you know, flea markets and things like that all year round, you're blessed. But for us, GameStop definitely becomes one of the main places we go to. So I'm going to talk about 15 games that are easily accessible at on uh, GameStop.com. Um, these are games that are usually ready and available on their website um, that you can find. Um, and so I would probably put these on in a basket or put these on a watch list so that if and when GameStop does a buy to get one, you can capitalize and take advantage of these deals. So let's dive into it. The first one is going to be the most obvious because usually this is this is one of the first games you see on their retro games page and that's Super Mario RPG. I don't know many how many copies of this game they have sitting around in a warehouse, but they never seem to run out of this game. It's always available, and the good part about it is that they used to have this priced at um, like ninety four ninety nine or ninety nine ninety nine or something like that. And I guess they they are following the market to a degree because I think the price on this has dropped to like seventy nine ninety nine. So um, Super Mario RPG is a Super Nintendo game that you can pick up from GameStop's website. You can order it um, online because the odds of you finding it in a store. Are going to be unlikely i'm not going to say it's super rare because um i've seen on social media a lot of people running into super nintendo games in store i myself have run into super nintendo games in store but this is definitely one that you should be able to find uh next up is super mario world um gamestop if there's any brand that gamestop is going to have when it comes to retro it's going to be nintendo all things nintendo they're usually flush with nintendo stuff um and super mario world is definitely a game that you can easily get on their website um i'm not sure how common like this super mario world is um i know that they have like the super mario world that comes with the uh the all-stars along with it like that jam pack with a bunch of games um and i think that goes for a little bit more but you can pick up Super Mario World on their website. They usually have copies of this. Not always, but they usually have copies of this. So this is one that I don't think should be too hard finding um, on GameStop's website. Uh, next up, Super Mario All-Stars. All we just talked about Super Mario All-Stars. This is another one uh, on GameStop's website that you can easily find. And to be honest with you, like the, all the Mario games, in my opinion, for Super Nintendo are somewhat easy to buy on GameStop's website. All the all of Nintendo's first party Super Nintendo games are going to be really easy. Um, and that includes like Zelda, um, you know, Mario Kart, the Donkey Kong games, like all of those games are usually ready and available on GameStop's website. So All Stars is definitely one that I don't think you should have any trouble finding. Um next up is super metroid um i felt for like for a while gamestop always had copies of super metroid in stock um this is this copy of super metroid i've had for years now um but um I'm, it's crazy how it's still in good condition but anyway um super metroid is one that they'll have price the price on super metroid has fluctuated um this is one of their more expensive super nintendo games not as not as expensive as Super Mario RPG, but Super Metroid, they do have it priced um, at a pretty penny. It's going to be market price, um, maybe even a little higher than eBay, but they will have this in stock most of the time. Not sure if they have it in stock right now, but this is definitely one of the ones that is gone when the buy two get one um, kicks in because a lot of people are usually looking for Super Metroid, an original copy. This is just a classic Super Nintendo game. And then... Um, 
rounding out the first party Super Nintendo games, you will have this copy of Kirby, Kirby Superstar. I don't know if I've ever seen this in store, but I do know that I've seen this online a bunch of times. I actually picked up my copy from GameStop online. Um, that's where I got this. And I got this copy during their buy two, get one at the beginning of the year. So a uh, pretty good pickup. I did. I do think I got this underpriced at the time. I think I may have gotten this for like 40 bucks or so. And at the time, I think it was worth more. It was around 55 to 60 at the time that I got this. Don't know where it's at now. It's probably gone down. Um, but this is definitely another one that you can pick up from GameStop's website. All right, now moving to some second party or third party, however you want to call it, games. Um, first up, we have uh, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. Now, this is a very fun beat-em-up. I really like this um, X-Men game. Every time I play it, I get like X-Men versus Street Fighter, you know, um, X-Men Children, Children of the Atom vibes. Um, they do really well with the character graphics here. Um, the, the, you know, it's a beat 'em up game basically. Um, but all the characters are pretty large. The levels are very colorful and GameStop usually will have this in stock, but like they'll get it in stock and then it'll be out of stock. So this one's a bit more touch and go. These, this game is not as common as, you know, a lot of the first party games, but this is one that you can get on their website for sure. Another one is, uh, Gradius. Uh, Gradius is not one that I see often, I'll be honest with you, but it, it does pop up on their website from time to time. Um, if you're into shoot 'em ups old school shoot 'em ups this is one that you may be able to snag on their website. You just got to keep your eye out for it. Uh, Gradius on the Super Nintendo. Mystical Ninja. Now, I've seen Mystical Ninja over the past three years, maybe two or three times um, on their website. I mean, it's usually there, but I've only been able to actually add it to my cart about two or three times. I actually picked up my copy of Mystical Ninja from um, GameStop, and I'll give GameStop credit on this. They suck when it comes to the disc-based games, but when it comes to the cartridge-based games, the cartridges are usually really good. Like, the labels are usually in really good condition. Um, of all these games, uh, Mystical Ninja, Kirby... Um, I want to say Gradius. So far, these three were all picked up from GameStop. And I've picked up other games from Super Nintendo games from GameStop. But they all come, the labels are all in very good condition. And I've only, when it comes to online uh, Super Nintendo purchases, um, I've never gotten a fake. The only fake Super Nintendo games that I've seen at GameStop were actually in store. So I've been lucky there. And then the only time that they messed up was when I ordered a copy of Street Fighter Alpha for the Super Nintendo. And they sent me Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That was a bummer. But moving right along. Here's one that you will see from time to time. Cybernator. I didn't get my copy from GameStop. But Cybernator um, is definitely one that you'll see on their website from time to time. You have to dig through like the Super Nintendo listings to find games like this, but this has been available and you you can add it to your cart. I've seen it on there before. Um, for those that don't know, Cybernator is kind of like the poor man's version of Metal Warriors. It's basically like a run and gun mech shoot 'em up game, but very fun. Like I said, it's just a poor man's version of Metal Warriors. Um, I really just forgot all about this game once I picked up Metal Warriors because Metal Warriors is just superior in every way. Um, next up, uh, this was a GameStop online pickup, Bomberman 2, so Super Bomberman 2. I've seen this available on GameStop's website a bunch of times, so you can pick this one up. Uh, pretty cool game, pretty cool game. Um, they usually have this one for between 25 and 30 bucks, uh, but it is available, and this is one that you'll, you will be able to find from time to time. All right, this last stack of games are not as common as the first two groups, but you can find them. You can find them. First is uh, Batman Returns. Um, I've seen Batman Returns on their website. This is actually a pretty decent beat em up game, to be honest with you. I would say Batman Returns is right on par with X Men Mutant Apocalypse in terms of beat em ups. Um, Mutant Apocalypse looks better, but Batman Returns is a fun beat em up game. This also came out on the NES too, but um, obviously it plays better on the Super Nintendo. Well, then, I, and then again, I don't know. Uh, you, you guys let me know. For those of you who've played the NES version and the Super Nintendo version, let me know which version you like better. But this is one that you will be able to pick up on GameStop's website from time to time. You kind of have to just dig through the listings to find that. Okay, Super Street Fighter. So there is always some type of Street Fighter game available on GameStop's website. 
whether it's Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha, there's always some type of Street Fighter game available on GameStop's website for Super Nintendo. Finding a copy of Super Street Fighter 2 is obviously great. I love Super Street Fighter. It's one of my favorite um, installments into the whole Street Fighter series. Um, just because I remember first playing this at a summer camp when I was like seven or eight. Um, and um, I just remember that opening scene with Ryu with the lightning striking. It was just, uh, in, it's like, in, like ingrained in my brain. Like, I, I'll never forget it. But anyway... This is a cool one to find. I actually picked up this copy in store. So um, I didn't get this one online, but I did pick it up from GameStop. And again, pretty decent label, right? Not bad. Not bad. All right, next up, Mega Man X. You won't find... So you'll see listings for all three of the Mega Man X Super Nintendo games. Mega Man X 1 through 3. Usually Mega Man X is the most available. It comes and it goes. Um, if you see it and you want it, I suggest you just add it and buy it. Um, unless you want to wait for the buy to get one. I was lucky enough to, to pick up Mega Man X2 from GameStop Online. They did, it was like 94 bucks or 99 bucks or something at the time, but I did buy it in a three-way bundle with, um, uh, 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 what is it? Metal Gear Solid and I think Def Jam Fight for New York, some other game. I bought like three $100 games during the buy to get one, um, and then had my pro member discount. So each game wound up coming out to like 65 bucks or something like that, which was a great deal for Mega Man X2, but I digress. You will see the Mega Man X games. Mega Man X is usually the one that's most available, but try it. If you do see Mega Man X2 or Mega Man X3, try adding it to your cart because there's a good chance it might be available because they do tend to have these Mega Man X games there. So I would definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, next up, we got another shoot 'em up here, UN Squadron. So this is one, this is an online pickup. They will have this on their website. UN Squadron is a pretty fun shoot 'em up, man. Um, um, I'm not gonna lie. I think when I when I was ordering this, for some reason in my mind, I thought it was Earth Defense Force. I don't know why I thought that, but I was still pleasantly surprised once I realized that I actually bought UN Squadron. Um, I haven't seen this on their website a lot. Um, I feel like when they get it, it does sell out. This is like a Super Nintendo sleeper. A lot of people like this game low key. Um, so if you do see it available, go ahead and pick it up. Um, especially if it's the buy two, get one, um, you get a pretty good deal on it. Again, man, it's GameStop, they suck with the discs, but when it comes to the, the, the cartridge based games, the labels are usually on point. All right, last but not least, you have Final Fight. So Final Fight is very common um, on GameStop's website. I usually see this on there and it's usually really cheap. Game, Final Fight was getting very cheap at one point. This game was like a $5 game at one point. Super cheap. And it's still cheap. I think you could pick up a copy of Final Fight for like under 20 bucks, But it's slowly like creeping up. It's slowly creeping up. Because this was a extremely cheap game at one point. But now it's creeping back up again. Why? I don't know. But Final Fight is a game that you can easily find um, on GameStop's website. They usually have it. And uh, yeah, you can get a great deal. So, I mean, you just got a, a, a pretty decent selection of games. Most of these are beat em ups, platformers, um, or shoot em ups because that's what I'm into. Um, I have seen copies of, well, you do have the minus the Mario, uh, Super Mario RPG, but I have seen other RPGs on their website like Chrono Trigger and Fantasy Star and some of the other like RPGs on there you can find. But I would say just start put, you know, checking out their website, seeing what's there. The good thing is that when you order cartridges from GameStop, you don't have to worry about it missing a manual or a case because I think most of us, when we buy cartridge-based games from GameStop, we, we kind of just expect the cart. We don't expect anything else. And I think if you're a cart collector, you're okay with that. Or at least I know I'm okay with that. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you've noticed any of the same similarities when you go to GameStop's website. And let me know if you plan on doing any uh, Black Friday shopping, or if you plan on taking advantage of any potential buy two, get one deals. All right, that does it for me. So Y2K Collector, I'll be back with more of these videos, just kind of helping you uh, see which games are available depending on the console or platform. Right, that does it for me for now. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.